Messi and Miami come to Carson on Sunday when the LA Galaxy open their season. Now, after failing to reach the playoffs in five of the last seven seasons, they're turning to newly promoted general manager Will Koontz to turn the LA Galaxy club around. One of the few black executives in Major League Soccer. Jamie Maggio has more. Will Koontz has found success at every stop of his career. Ten years with the New York Yankees included a World Series title. After three years in the MLS League office, he spent six seasons helping build LAFC into a powerhouse. Now he's trying to do the same as the LA Galaxy general manager. How would you say the accumulation of your sports experience has prepared you for this type of role? It's definitely a little bit of an atypical path. I think starting in baseball and then going to league office, yeah. law school route. But I think every step of the way has kind of given me a, a tool or a tool set that I've been able to use now uh, here at the Galaxy to, to help bring the club back to the top of the league. The final whistle sounds! The Los Angeles Galaxy are the first to five! With your role now as GM of the Galaxy, how do you get this club back to that level of prominence? I think it's just getting back to the basic principles of what's successful, you know, and I think what was able to bring success in MLS from the early 2000s to 2014 is really different now. You know, the recipe has changed. There's more teams in the league. There's more money in the league. More players from abroad are interested. And so in, in any league, whether it's baseball, basketball, soccer, you have to be innovative. You know, you have to look at what the different teams are doing around the league, what the bleeding edge looks like, and, and not necessarily copy, but uh, adapt that to your current circumstances. The change comes after a tumultuous 2023 for the Galaxy, which saw boycotts from the biggest fan supporter groups. But it's so important to have their support behind you. How do you mend the fences and, and get them back? You know, when you work for any big club, that's, that's part of the package, right? You want to have supporters who demand a lot, who care a lot, and are ambitious, and want the club to match that ambition. So my message to the fans has been, hey, like, we really appreciate your patience, we really appreciate your passion, and it's incumbent on myself and the rest of the team to show them that we're going to be moving in a different way, to show them that, you know, their passion uh, is going to be rewarded. One of Koons' first moves, signing 22-year-old Brazilian forward Gabriel Peck. Do you see him as a star in the making? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Gabriel's already been successful for one of the biggest clubs in Brazil. He's a dynamic, goal dangerous winger. He works. He's fast. You know, he's part of the Brazilian you know, U23 national team right now, so a very exciting guy, and he's got a massive upward trajectory. You know, one thing that I told our owner is that I maybe want to get away from that model of star taking and get into star making. It doesn't really matter to us if anybody knows about them when they come in. You know, the most important thing is that everybody's going to know who they are when they're here and after they leave. Is there a, a measuring stick for you this season? You know, the key thing is show the improvement, to show, hey, this team has got real quality and we're exciting to watch and that, you know, I want our fans to feel that when they're here in the stadium watching on TV and, and bring some pride back to the club.